Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of College and Career Pathways, where every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m., we provide you with information on various colleges and universities, training programs, technical schools, skilled trade professions, employment opportunities, and career readiness skills, all designed to help you make the best career decisions possible. I'm Tony Curitan, your host, and today we are going to talk about how to utilize and apply your $500 Enroll Succeed Scholarship. I'm going to open up my share screen and pull the PowerPoint up and we are going to get started. Okay. Okay, how to use your $500 Enroll Succeed Scholarship. If you are a student and you graduated from Diploma Success, Creative Learning Center Dearborn, Creative Learning Center Highland Park, iTutor Today Warren, Oak Park Alternative, My Virtual Academy, or the Step Up Program, then you receive a $500 Enroll Succeed Scholarship when you graduated. It does not matter which district you graduated from, as long as you graduated from one of these programs listed here, then you were given a $500 scholarship that you can utilize to cover or assist you in any of your tuition expenses um, as you further your education this will help you out considerably. The scholarship application deadline for the class of 2019 has been extended because of COVID-19. Your deadline is January 31st, 2021. You have until January 31st, 2021 to use your $500 scholarship. That's awesome. So you still got time. You still have another um, four months to go and you can still utilize your scholarship if you graduated in 2019. The scholarship application deadline has been extended for the class of 2020 as well. Normally class of 2020, your scholarship deadline application would be June 2021. But because of COVID-19, again, we have extended the deadline and now you have until June 2022 to utilize your $500 scholarship. So let's go through the step-by-step -step process on how to redeem and utilize your scholarship. The first thing you need to do is select a school, enroll, and completely fill out your scholarship application. That's step one. You got to pick a program and you got to go in and register for the program. Then you need to fill out the scholarship application that we gave you. This is an example of what the scholarship application looks like. You need to fill in all of the information, your name, your date of birth, your address, city, state, zip code, primary phone number where I can reach you at any time so that I can communicate the status of your scholarship application in case there's some missing information I need. I can get a hold to you and reach you and obtain that information. If you want to put an alternate phone number down, you may do so. Then you need to put down the name of the school or the program that you'll be, that you'll be attending. Henry Ford, um, Macomb Community, Wayne County, Eastern Michigan University, Whatever the school or program you'll be attending, their name goes here and their address goes underneath. 
You then need to sign and date the scholarship application. And over here in this box, you'll need to put your student ID number or the last four digits of your social security number. Now, if you go to community college or university, they automatically assign you a student ID number. That is the number you need to put there in this box. If you go to a private school or a training program, more likely than not, they will not issue a student ID. And in that case, you can just put your last four digits of your social security number. Step number two, you need to print a copy of your class schedule. Your class schedule must show which classes you're enrolled in or which program you're enrolled in. It must also have your name and your student ID number on the document. It cannot be a blank document that has to identify you. So you have to have your class schedule with your student name and ID number. And it has to show the name of the program along with or the name of the classes that you're enrolled in. Step number three, you need to print off a copy of your tuition statement. The tuition statement has to show the cost of the classes or the program that you're enrolled in. It also has to show your, your name, your complete name, and your student ID number. These, th these items have to be on the document. Now, the reason why I'm saying print is because you cannot use a screenshot. You actually have to print off your document and then you can take a photograph with your phone and email it in. You can't take a screenshot. And the reason why you can't use a screenshot is because when you do a screenshot, the screenshot will not have your student name or ID number in within the screenshot screen. And those are vital. Here is an example. Here is one example of what a document that shows the tuition statement and the class schedule. This is actually a perfect document. Um, this one is from Henry Ford. Macomb Community has one that is similar. So does um, Wayne County Community College. Just about any of the any of the community colleges or universities, they will all have a document similar to this. Some of them may have two documents because they may separate the two, but this is perfect. Right up top on your left, it provides the college information. It provides their name, their location address. Underneath is where your name and your complete address would go. Over here on your right, the first line will have your student name. The second line will have your student ID number. This section here, underneath here, this is the tuition statement. This is the statement that I'm looking for. It shows how much your courses that you enrolled in for this semester, they show, it shows the cost of those classes. And underneath here is the class schedule. It lists each class that you enrolled in, the credit amount each class is worth, the days of the week that you are to attend those classes, and the building location that those classes will be found in. This is what is necessary in order to process your scholarship application. And again, 
no screenshots. You have to actually print this document out from the computer and then you can take a photo with your cell phone and submit it. Now, this is an example of a registration form for a program that is either a private school or a technical training school. This one here is coming from phlebotomy training program and they're located in Garden City. Now their document differs from the first one. It's more of a contract, but it still provides the same information. Again, up top at the left is the school's information, their contact number, where they're located. In this section here, you will find all of the student's personal information, their name, their address, phone number. This line here shows the name of the program that the student is enrolled in. Whereas on the other document, it listed the classes, English, biology. This one here lists the name of the program. They are in the pharmacy technician program. Right over here, it shows the cost of the pharmacy technician program. Then down here, it provides the student's signature and date. All of these items have to be present on this type of document in order for you to submit it to be processed with your scholarship application. Step number four. We're almost done now. You're, you're, you're close to the end. You need to submit all of these documents to me. You can email them to me. You can put them in the US mail, snail mail, or you can fax them to me. Step number five. Once I receive all of your documents, your completed scholarship application, your class schedule, and your tuition statement, once I receive all of those documents, your scholarship application will be processed. Processing takes four weeks. So let's talk a little bit about that because oftentimes I'll receive the scholarship application and the documents and I'll have students say, okay, I start my classes on Monday, so I need my scholarship now. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't quite work that way. You need to apply in advance and you need to plan because it takes four weeks to process your scholarship application. Once the processing is complete and the scholarship has been approved, then a scholarship check will be cut and mailed directly to the school. But I cannot emphasize enough, you have to plan this out. Don't wait until the last minute and say, okay, I'm getting ready to start school, so I need my scholarship money, because it's not going to happen. Four weeks is the processing time for your scholarship application. So plan in advance. If you're thinking about going to Macomb Community College, whether you've decided on what you want to study or not, if you believe that that's probably where you're going to go, well then don't wait until the fall semester starts. Start a month ahead, two months ahead, and send in your application with all of the other documents to go with it so that we can process it. This is my contact information and this is where you can send all of your documents and your scholarship application. If you're gonna send it by US mail, this is my address. 18901 15 Mile Road, Clinton Township, 48035. If you're going to send it to me electronically via email, my email address is T-O-N-I-C, the at symbol, A-T-S-E-D-U dot net. Or if you're going to fax it to me, 
My fax number is 586-465-9481. My office number is 586-842-0558, extension 312. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to go over anything with you. Um, if you want to check and see whether or not the technical program or school that you want to attend qualifies for the scholarship application, give me a call and we'll go through it. More than happy to answer any questions and let you know um, the status of your, your, your application uh, and assist you in whatever way I can. Again, you need to complete an application, provide me with a copy of your class schedule, a copy of the tuition statement. Once I receive those, I'll process your application. Processing takes four weeks. Then your scholarship check, once it's approved, will be sent directly to the school. Thanks so much. Again, if you need to contact me or ask me any questions, you can reach me at the numbers listed. Have a great day.